NASA and Boeing will collaborate on the Sustainable Flight Demonstrator project to develop, test, and launch an emission-reducing single-aisle airplane this decade, the agency announced on Wednesday. NASA has been there for you whenever you fly from the beginning. NASA has dared to advance further, more quickly, and higher. NASA has improved the dependability and sustainability of aviation in the process. It is ingrained in our DNA, according to NASA Administrator Bill Nelson. It is our hope that NASA's collaboration with Boeing to build and test a full-scale demonstrator will contribute to the development of future commercial airliners that use less fuel, benefiting the environment, the commercial aviation sector, and travelers all over the world. On the 2030s, if we are successful, we might see these technologies in commercial airplanes. This experimental aircraft's initial test flight is scheduled for 2028. According to Nelson, the plan is to use short to medium haul single aisle aircraft to serve roughly 50% of the commercial market. According to NASA, single aisle aircraft make up the majority of airline fleets and are responsible for approximately half of all aviation emissions globally. The U.S. Aviation Climate Action Plan's objective of reaching net-zero aviation carbon emissions by 2050 can be supported through the development of innovative technology that uses less fuel. Between 2035 and 2050, Boeing predicts a 40,000 plane rise in demand for new single-aisle aircraft. According to the EPA, the design NASA and Boeing are developing might cut pollutants and fuel use by up to 30 percent compared to today's most efficient aircraft. The concept is known as the transonic truss braced wing and it makes use of long, thin wings that are supported by diagonal struts that attach the wings to the airplane. Less drag is produced by the design, which results in fuel savings. Other environmentally friendly flying technology will be included in the sustainable flight demonstrator. In a statement, Bob Pierce, NASA's Associate Administrator for the Aeronautics Research Mission Directorate, stated that the agency is working toward the ambitious goal of developing paradigm-shifting technologies to reduce aviation energy use and emissions over the ensuing decades in order to achieve the aviation community's goal of net-zero carbon emissions by 2050. The transonic truss braced wing is the kind of game-changing idea and investment we will need to meet those challenges, and, critically, the technologies demonstrated in this project have a clear and viable path to informing the next generation of single-aisle aircraft, benefiting everyone who uses the aviation system, says the author. The advantages of increasing the aspect ratio of the wing have long been understood, but structuring the design has proven difficult and has required breakthroughs in construction and materials, according to Pierce. He asserted that by working together on the project, NASA and Boeing are able to assume greater risks than the aviation sector as a whole. He declared, this is an experimental airplane. This is not a commercially produced airplane that will carry passengers today. And the fact that this is a high-risk technology is why we must take this action. Trying to validate technologies is what we do. The Alliance will rely on technological know-how, facilities, $425 million from NASA over seven years, and assistance from the funded Space Act Agreement. Boeing and its partners will provide the technical plan and the remaining $725 million. According to Todd Citron, Boeing's chief technology officer, we're thrilled to continue our cooperation with NASA and to demonstrate technology that greatly enhances aerodynamic efficiency resulting in substantially lower fuel burn and emissions.